Hello adventurers, welcome to the Fighting Fancy playlist. My name is Adam and in this episode we're talking all about Battleblade Warrior. Battleblade Warrior is the 31st book in the Fighting Fantasy series and it is the first uh, book release of 1988. It's also a special book for two reasons and I'll go through them right now. The first reason is that this is the first book written by Mark Gascoigne for the series and he co-wrote uh, some amazing bo uh, books such as Dungeoneer, Port Black Sand um, and edits them as well. And so this is his first um, book. The second reason it's uh, a special book is I'll get into in just a second. The, uh, the cover uh, artwork here was done by a person called David Gallagher and all the internal artwork was done by Alan Langford. Alan Langford is a well-known artist as well and some of the artwork, if you can see that, is pretty cool looking. Um, it's also got this uh, sort of basic line drawn artwork about it, but inside it's it's really good artwork. Um, the as I say, the second reason that this book is uh, really quite an interesting book out of all the books in the Fight Fantasy series is because it's the book that's most like Skyrim, the video game. Um, I'll read it and you'll understand why. So opening up, you get like a nice little map inside, color map of um where is it set in uh the sh the snake lands so uh, inside it says after six years of constant bombardment from the forces of the mighty lizard man empire your beloved city of vimorna lies in ruins yet it is battered and war weary troops still hold out fighting alongside your mother queen perel you know the situation is desperate it is surely a matter of time before the city must fall into the hands of evil, unless the divine powers come to its aid. Then the great Lord Telak, God of Courage, appears in a dream. You are the one person to carry out the mission to bring victory to your people. Only you can seek out the weapon which will aid you and your city against the dark forces. Your mission will take you through enemy lines and will be fraught with danger, but you must succeed. You are Vimora's last chance. Um, so that's the that's the sort of the gist of the story. And um, it's it, it's just set in a landscape and you meet so many interesting characters that are kind of like they are from the video game Skyrim. And so for me, this is the, the one book that kind of stands out in the series. Now, it is like a quest type of book, uh, like an you know, adventure, you go on an adventure, you end up uh, meeting a baddie at the end. It is a standard sort of story in that sense. There is nothing else special really about this. It doesn't introduce any new type of uh, like magic or anything else in the adventure sheet. It's just your standard adventure sheet. But just the world that it's set in is pretty cool. Um, almost as cool as that front cover there, which you know, a, a lizard man riding a pterodactyl through a valley. I mean, <laughs> you can't get much better than that, can you, really? It looks ace. Um, it's a book that I really recommend, um, and it's a book that you'll be able to read easily and that you'll be able to reread and play again and again and again. Um, heavily recommend it, so check it out. Um, and that's Battle Blade Warrior. Um, so thanks for watching this. That's it for this week. And um, next week, we'll be checking out uh, a new adventure, Slaves of the Abyss. So I'll see you then, guys. Bye-bye.